Good day, Jill and countrymen. Good day. Uh, it's Nat Natasha here from Kimberley Jiggers. And I'm over here in Broome this week. I'm actually here at the Yes campaign in Broome uh, with Anja and KLC. And I've got Merrilee Williams, which is actually the CEO of Anja. Um, hi, Merrilee. Hi. How are you going? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Tell us a little bit about Anja. What yep. do you do? So Anja is a regional body for Kimberley Aboriginal people. Um, we have a regional presence. Uh, we have staff from Broome and Kununurra. Yep. Our purpose, our vision is to empower our mob. Yeah, fantastic. The empowerment of Kimberley Aboriginal people is, is the mandate of Anja. Yes. Now Anja and KLC have put on this um, workshop today in Broome to talk about the Yes campaign. So countrymen, this is an educational and awareness video to talk about the fact that there is an, a referendum a referendum that's going to be happening towards the end of this year, probably yep. October or November, am I correct? Yes, middle of October is what we're aiming flagged. for. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. So a referendum, countrymen, is where Australia goes to change its constitution. And Australia's constitution is, um, it's like its rule book, okay? It's the founding document. Yep. Um, when, when Australia was federated, there was a constitution that was formed. And that is, Australia, it's like a, our PBCs, we have rule books. So that's, a, that's an analogy that we can use here. And uh, the Australian citizens are members. Yep. And to change that rule book of Australia, it needs majority of people to vote in favour. Favor. So you need majority of state, but also uh, majority of people. Yep. So you, there's two things that you actually need here to change Australia's constitution. Um, here is the question that's going to be coming up later on this year. I'll read it to you verbatim so you know precisely what you're going to see when you go and, and have a look at that ballot paper towards the end of the year. The question is, a proposed law to alter the constitution to recognise the first people of Australia by establishing an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. Do you approve the proposed alteration? That's the question that's being put to the Australian people. Um, because this is a little bit educational, um, Merrilee, can let's just talk a little bit of the background about how we've come to this place. I believe it started with Uluru. That's right. Okay. It did start with Uluru. Yeah. So from the Uluru statement, you have voice, treaty and truth. We are at voice. We are at stage one. Yes, stage okay. one. Okay. The voice gives independent advice to parliament and government. Yes, for those issues that are pertaining to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Not necessarily to other matters, but what relates policies that will directly impact Aboriginal and Torres Aboriginal. Strait Islander people. That's correct. Okay, the composition will be representative of our communities and be gender and youth balanced. Yes. Yep. It'll be embedded in the constitution, so as when governments change over, yep. the voice will remain. That's right. Okay. Um, the voice does not deliver programs. No. It so, doesn't. so there won't be any services coming out of the voice. Yep. It'll basically be an advisory body that gives information. Yep. or advice, it doesn't have any uh, veto power, right. it's simply an advisory body yes, to the correct. parliament for the betterment, what is believed to be the betterment or the advancement of Aboriginal and yes. Torres Strait Islander people. That's correct. Great, okay. Um, in order to participate in this, and we're, we're targeting 18 million people. That's right. There's, 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 there's 23, 24 million Australians, yep. 18 million are at the voting age. So this is who this is being targeted for now. Mm. It's an invitation to Australia to have an opinion about this. Yep. Um, what are you saying, Merrily? I'm saying yes, or I'm saying no way, or I'm saying e in my, both my languages. Both of your languages, fantastic. Yes. So you want to see the empowerment of our people and you believe? Absolutely. The voice is one mechanism to have that change happen? Yes, I believe so. All right. And a lot of our people do, and those people that do from our countrymen yep. that aren't enrolled, we encourage yep. you to enrol. Yeah, absolutely. And we heard this morning that you can go to the AEC. Yes, and you no longer need your licence. You can just have your Medicare card. How easy is that? Yeah, very. <laughs> so fantastic. Okay, countrymen, so get on, register to vote, have your say in October, November when that referendum comes around. If we can provide any more information to you, we would love to do that. Please get in contact and uh, participate. Out. Yes. Thanks so much, Mary. No worries. Thanks, Thanks Natasha. Bye. Bye.